So here I've got a couple of what we know as chocos here in New Zealand and in Australia. They're known as chocos. <laughs> hey, sorry. Um, but in a lot of other places around the world, these are known as chayote squash. So it's been just a month and two days since I planted this choco fruit into the pot, um, which I showed you in my last video. And now it's just going crazy. Check this out. It is growing so fast. It's much taller than I am. I would say it's around seven foot tall. Check that out. Massive. So um, as you can see, it's just bending right over. I've had this growing indoors. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is actually trim the top off because it's just too hard to manage really. And what I'm hoping is that if I chop the top out, it'll stop putting the energy into this stalk here and put its energy into um, this little sprout over here. So let's cut that top off. So there we go. It's turned it into a much more manageable plant now. So it's been just over two weeks since I took the top out of this chayote plant. And luckily it hasn't put any more growth out the top, so it hasn't got any taller from there. But it has focused a lot of its growth on this big side branch. And um, don't ask me how, but it's managed to grab right onto the curtain there. And it's holding on pretty tight. See, if I give that a real good pull, it takes a wee while to um, get it unattached. So um, I'm guessing it must have real thin fibres on that little string thing that grab right on. See, look at that, it's holding on for a dear life. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just take the, the end off that um, side shoot over here. Might just cut it about there, and um, then it can shoot off another side branch. Because as you can see, it's still indoors, and I don't want it getting too massive. So um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So it's now May the 10th, and um, I wasn't actually going to bother um, finishing off this choco video um, because it sort of, this is where I planted it, and it sort of did grow, um, but it wasn't fruiting. Um, I didn't train this up at all, um, but it has just climbed up by itself. Um, but one thing that I just noticed today actually is that there is fruit on it. Um, so there is one just there, um, one there and a larger one just here um, and it is also covered in quite a lot of flowers um, so I will just jump up there and um, I'll show you the flowers um, they are quite small and hard to hard to notice um, which is why I haven't really taken much notice that it has been um, flowering and fruiting uh, but yeah I'll climb up there and show you what it looks like okay so I've climbed right up the top of the structure and um, as you can see this is the top of it and um, it has sort of just sprawled wherever it wants to. As I said, I haven't trained it anywhere, so it's just grown naturally. Um, and what I have noticed, I'll try and get some footage, but there was wasps pollinating the flowers. Uh, actually, here's one here. So there's one of the small flowers, and there's a little wasp. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not sure if these guys are the natural pollinators or if it is like a mixture of insects that pollinate these. Um, but I have seen quite a few of these guys on here. <laughs> um, here's some more flowers so yeah they are quite small and pretty insignificant um, but they do end up turning into big fruits <laughs> so yeah um, I'm pretty stoked that I've ended up with some some little chocos and hopefully I get some more fruit off it hopefully um, before the frosts come because when the frost arrive um, it's going to kill this plant. These guys are frost tender so um, it's not going to survive a harsh frost like we get here um, where I live in New Zealand. Now I also decided to um, finish off this video about chocos that I started making months ago um, because I wanted to share with you um, some sad news. Um, so you might remember on my first choco video um, it was me and Shai doing the video and we planted this plant together um, so we used one of these 
choco fruits and we planted the whole fruit into the soil and me and Shai were on that video. Shai is my dog. Um, now a few months ago we had to make the very difficult decision to put her down. Um, her house deteriorated suddenly out of nowhere um, so we had to make that very difficult decision and it was very very hard. Um, I've had her since I was three years old um, so she was coming up 18 and so I've grown up my whole life with her around so without her here it is um, a lot different and yeah just it sucked really but you know that's life so I thought I would let you guys know so if you're wondering why she's not on any more of my videos um, that's why um, anyway I think I will wrap it up there so uh, thank you for watching and feel free to uh, check out my other videos and subscribe to um, see more videos coming out soon. Alright, have an awesome day. See ya.